Hello, I'm Lauren Carr, and thank you for joining us at the Mystery Review Crew Podcast. Join us for author interviews, panel discussions, and all things mystery. Hello, mystery lovers. Welcome to the Mystery Review Crew. I'm Lauren Carr, and today we are doing a review of Michelle Cox's new release, A Spine Eye, which is the sixth novel in her Henrietta and Inspector Howard novel series. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to introduce you to Michelle Cox. She, her uh, Henrietta and Inspector Howard series, as well as her blog, Uh, Novel Notes of Local Lore have won over 50 international awards and has been praised by Kirkus, Library Journal, Publishers Weekly, Book List, Forward, L, Red Book, Britain Company, Pop Sugar, BuzzFeed, and many, many others. But I'm going to give you a little tidbit about Michelle. She hoards board games. And even though she doesn't have time to play, and she is also surprisingly, not surprisingly, addicted to period dramas and big bang music. She's also addicted to marmalade. She lives in Chicago with her husband, three children, and one naughty golden doodle. And right now she's hard at work at her latest novel. So come back, sit back, relax, and we're going to talk about Michelle Cox's A Spine Eye. A spine eye, Clive and Henrietta return to Europe in an attempt to resurrect their failed honeymoon. While in London, they are approached by an old friend, Inspector John Hordle, who convinces them to search for a missing piano of the Gnot Altarpiece, a famous Renaissance painting of which Hitler's top men are also in pursuit. Meanwhile, back in Chicago, old rich Exley threatens to cut off financial support for the entire Von Harmon brood if Elsie continues with her plan to marry Gunther, a situation made worse by the sudden appearance of one Heinrich Meyer, who claims to be little Anna's father and threatens to take her away. Desperate, Elsie seeks the help of Clive's sister, Julia, who is herself the victim of domestic abuse and has fallen under the spell of a handsome Texas millionaire bent on acquiring a a rare painting from the Howard Collection. Clive and Henrietta's search takes them to Chateau de Franyanec, I hope I pronounced that correctly, in Strasbourg, France, an Asian seat of the Von Harmons and home to three eccentric distant relatives of Henrietta's. What begins as a wild goose chase turns decidedly more deadly when several Nazi officers also arrive at the chateau in search of a valuable item. When Henrietta and Clive attempt to flee after Henrietta uncovers a shocking truth, they are forced to trust themselves to a suspicious French servant who seems all too willing to help. And now for my review. A Spy Eye by Michelle Cox is an excellent read, and I thoroughly enjoyed reading the sixth book in the Henrietta and Inspector Howard series. Now, I'll admit, I did not read the other five books, but this was basically written as a standalone. I wasn't lost. I was able to pick up right where the book starts uh, or picks up in the series. Uh, Michelle manages to give you enough details about what has happened in the past without um, a data dump, basically, uh, in the book, and to intrigue you enough to make you want to go pick up the other five books in the series, which I'll admit that, you know, I wanted to do. 
Um, now, any other reviews that you're going to be checking out, they're all going to be telling you about the uh, what happens in the book. I don't want to give any spoilers. I, you know, you, there's enough in the uh, in the book description to let you know what goes on. What I want to focus on in my review is the character development of um, the characterizations of Clive and Henrietta. Uh, you know, which Michelle Cox does a wonderful and admirable job. Uh, I'll admit, sometimes I do have problems with historical fiction, especially historical fiction where you have a strong female protagonist. A problem I found uh, with a lot of historical novels, historical fiction novels, is that the author will take a uh, strong woman basically will take a woman uh, a character a personality uh from today and just pluck her out of today's society and seemingly dump them in an earlier time period and say there's a strong independent woman and but she comes across in the um setting in the past because she has today's ideals and today's, you know, thought processes and ideals and characterization, she comes across as aggressive and, um, you know, even rude and disrespectful to characters who are authentic to that time period and thought process and culture. Uh, Michelle Cox, she created, in Henrietta, she created the word I, um, I've i seen in other reviews for earlier novels is spunky, and that perfectly describes Henrietta. Uh, she's spunky, she's independent, she is, uh, you, know, she, you know, she's not passive, but she's not, but she is strong without being disrespectful. Uh, scenes where she, um, I admired scenes, especially scenes where she was with her mother-in-law, you know, Clive's a mother. Uh, likewise, she, Michelle managed to make Clive uh, encouraging and proud of his wife's intelligence and independence and spunky nature without jeopardizing his masculine role without making him come across as weak or passive. You know, he is, you know, he can, you know, come butt right heads right with uh um with Henrietta, which makes they have a they they are perfect for each other. They make the she Michelle has made an admirable uh couple that I think a lot of married couples would like to have in today's society. Uh, Clive is strong, he is intelligent, he is open-minded to his wife's, um, you know, to his wife's independence and to her intelligence. He's respectful of her, she's respectful of him. And as a matter of fact, I even saw in Henrietta an ability that she she's smart and she is, I don't want to use the word manipulative, but she uses her intelligence and her role and her basically maybe a secondary role of, you know, how some people would view her since she's a woman in a time period in the 1930s. She uses her feminine wiles. I've seen her do that too. And that is, you know, she's an admirable character, wonderful character who I, you know, which you know, her and and Clive, they are wonderful characters. They are a wonderful couple. And I totally admire the way uh, Michelle Cox managed to put them together. Such character development does take great skill and immense talent, which Michelle Cox definitely has. So I would recommend, you know, people who love mysteries, people who love historical mysteries, people who love historical fiction, that you do go pick up A Spying Eye today. And also pick up the other five books in this series. You may want to read them all in order so that you can follow the character development of uh, Clive and Henrietta. Thank you for joining us today at the Mystery Review Crew. If you liked today's episode, do be sure to like and subscribe 
so you can receive notifications for future episodes. In the meantime, happy reading.